السلام عليكم uh, انا اسمي امتياز today i'm going to show you how to use the go to meeting app to join in and get involved in the meetings that we run on a monday and a friday uh, this may be because you can't make it physically because of work or your location or you've moved um, so i hope you will come um, and join join in and get involved um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this on the iPhone uh, the in the Windows app ha probably have an app and the Android will have one definitely so go to the App Store and in the App Store type in search for go to meeting go to meeting and click download so the app takes a few seconds to download once it's downloaded click open and every week we will send you a link that you will uh, need to join the meeting or it might be the same one or we might change it so click the alphabet and type in code 8 and then click join okay it'll ask you for your name uh, and again because you're going to be involved in person it'll ask you to allow you to use the mic so I'll uh, say enable that enter your email address this is so that we can send you the PDF documents at the end of the session so enter your email or leave it for the moment and do done click on done and then you can see the lesson that's uh, ready for you uh, to to see and get involved with and this is the same screen that people who are there in person are seeing using the projector so lesson three adults or thalethi um we will go through okay so there is no a in the arabic language al is the equivalent of the word the and when nouns are prefix not sorry not prefix with l they're called indefinite and end with the double vowels that's like fatatain, kasratain or damatain uh, when they say indefinite it means like you're not saying it's like book, pen um, and so forth so and there you go it ends with fatatain or damatain say sorry so kitabun, jamilun, baytun yeah when answer of prefix with l they are called definite articles because now you're saying it is the book, the pen, or the kitab, or yeah. And when you prefix ill, the n is dropped, and then it ends with a single vowel. The so that kitabun becomes al kitabu, and you'll say bu if you are joining another word at the end. If it's just the last word in the sentence, then, then it's al kitab. So Al Kitab Al Jamilatu Al Baytu. Yeah. So Bait Tun is the indefinite becomes Al Bait. Qalamun becomes Al Qalam. And what we intend to do is e for you to get involved. Use your microphone, we'll ask everybody that's in in the room to repeat after so they and get an understanding of how to say it right babun becomes al bab okay. halibun becomes al halibu okay. and again we'll put the transliteration there just to help you until you get the grasp of the arabic jigsaw so maun al ma'u And, and that's it I think for the moment we'll just to show you how this works you also have the option to unmute yourself and this is where you would say and join in and everybody would hear what you're saying um, and again you get the option to enable your microphone or your camera if you want to if you want people to see who you are um, and then you can also use the chat option to find who's in the room and then talk to them so you can say hi yeah. 
and you can ask questions uh, you can get involved just like you were in the room I think it'd be a great opportunity for all of us to move forward and really make the Arabic meetup um, work for everyone so thank you for watching inshallah we'll speak to you soon Ma salama